Yo, what's poppin' home dogs? It's your boy Jaden, and today I'm going to be walking you through my cultural heritage poster. So when illustrating my design, I really wanted to emphasize modern culture over traditional religious culture. And I want you, the audience, to see this reflection throughout your piece, as the main focus is on the boy who's playing video games and is surrounded by monitors. Along with this, I also want you to take note that there are multiple symbols that represent my obsession with technology, like a Nintendo Switch and phone. Adding on, there are also many symbols that represent me as a person in general. For example, in the bottom right corner, there's paintbrushes that represent my deep passion for art, which I've had ever since I could pick up a pencil. I also want you to note that there's a Dragon Ball and Pokemon to represent my love for anime, which me and my dad used to watch when I was little. However, I still uh, do not want to leave out traditional definition of culture completely out of my poster. So I added flags of my ethnicities, Vietnamese, and Chinese. On top of that, I added a Buddha to convey my religion and Buddhism. Overall though, I wanted the modern definition of culture to outside my traditional culture, as I believe it has a bigger impact on me. And I hope you enjoy my piece. In my culture heritage project, I wanted to represent my Chinese culture. I depicted this by making an illustration of Chinese New Year through a dragon and a couple of fireworks. I predominantly used bright colors to make my dragon and the fireworks stand out, while darkening out the background creating depth and mystery to my culture. I connected the bright colors of the dragon and the fireworks of the Chinese colors of good luck. I chose the dragon as my focal point because it is most commonly referred to as a popular icon in Chinese culture, along with the Chinese town fit with the theme. Through my culture heritage project, I wanted to bring awareness to a culture that many viewers might not know about. Uh, my project is based on traditional clothing we wear to parties. Society influenced this piece because our traditional clothing doesn't really fit into society's dressing expectations. It would look very odd to someone who doesn't know what it is, but it's called a kurta pajama. Uh, there are many different designs for many different purposes. In some parts of India, specifically in the farmer and village areas, people wear them every day. However, the one in my art piece is a special one made to be worn to parties and celebrations. While looking at my artwork, you would assume I am Chinese after seeing the familiar Chinese characters. I am Chinese, born and raised in the US, so that makes me a Chinese American. I wanted to incorporate some kind of symbol that was easily recognizable that my cultural background was Chinese. I drew the bright red cherry blossoms, painted on the textured paper to create the impression of an ancient and traditional work. I made a combination of traditional and modern artwork to depict my cultural heritage in my art style. In the end, this artwork represents me and my culture. Thank you. Hi, my name is Harmon and I'm going to explain my poster. In my piece, I portrayed the Punjabi culture from India. I drew a farmer, which is the primary profession in that area. My grandfather is a farmer and my dad was as well before moving to the states. I also drew a map of Punjab, a state in India, with five lines of water flowing through it. The five lines of water represent what Punjab means. Punj means five and Ab means rivers, the land of five rivers. I try to portray the map as if it was on an old piece of paper and land to show how long the Punjabi people have been farming. I wanted to address the cultural background of my parents within my design. The color scheme of the greens, pinks, and browns are similar to colors often found in Chinese culture, which derives from my dad's side of the family. I included the signature cherry blossom tree, which also fits with this color scheme. In addition, the mountains in the background vaguely resemble the terrain of Vietnam, where my dad was born, and the mountain ranges found in Pakistan, my mother's side of the family. I am located in the middle of the natural structures, surrounded but mostly unaffected by my background. I am posed looking out into the fog as I have still much to discover about my own cultural heritage. When I heard about this project, I was very excited and eager to begin working. In my piece, I added parts of my Chinese heritage as well as additional parts about myself. The whole piece was meant to look like a poster that would be put up during Chinese New Year. I made this poster with the intent of giving it to my grandma. My grandma loves Chinese New Year and likes having lots of things to look at because she is more of a visual person. 
The small details about myself were represented by the addition of my Chinese name and the rooster in the middle. Uh, the rooster being my zodiac symbol. I also added clouds because they are a symbol of luck in China. The entire poster is supposed to symbolize happiness and celebration that normally comes during Chinese New Year. In this artwork, I wanted to express the mixtures of cultures that I, as an individual, was being influenced by. This does not only include my traditional upcomings, but also the digital influence that I get from media platforms. I try to incorporate this idea into the piece by creating this transparent highway to contrast with the floating slash flowing nothingness of the outside. On the highway, I place down tuk-tuks, which were a kind of traditional car seen in Thailand to represent my Asian roots. The scribbles on the road symbolizes the connection I share with my family members through my love of reading. Then, I added flowing lines and social media logos to represent how global trends affect my cultural heritage. I also had an airplane in the background to show how I never fully belong in one place with one mindset. I'm always going to be moving through places and thus slowly shifting my viewpoints into what I have today. Every aspect of this poster represents my cultural heritage and who I am. When people look at the koi fish on my poster, they'll probably see Japanese. What they don't know is that koi fish really originated from China and not from Japan. And they really are a symbol of wealth and success. In China and Vietnam, red and yellow are the colors that represent luck and happiness to come. These colors are also the colors of each of the flags. But our society is more inclined to seeing it as Chinese colors rather than Vietnamese colors, because it's more well known. In today's society, we hear more about Chinese news, which makes it more prominent. Especially where we live, the Vietnamese community is not as large as the other Asian communities that live here, which makes the Vietnamese community culture less well known. In my piece, I focused on incorporating elements of my Mexican and Portuguese heritage while using a very stylized art style. The green and red colors coming together, with a hint of white in the middle, represents the Mexican flag. In the middle portion of the green, red, yellow, white, and blue are all colors of the Portuguese flag. I wanted them to be more of a representation than the literal flags. I designed the character itself as a very stylized representation of me, and I thought it was a perfect way to bring together my culture and my love of art, since both have been such an important part of my life that have defined who I am. In my design, I used a tree as the foundation with different designs on each branch to represent my ethnic and cultural background. The tree is representative of a family genetic tree, but instead of my family members, I incorporated famous and recognizable imagery from places in the world based on my ancestry and where I grew up. These images are branches or extensions of the tree. These designs included a Viking helmet representing Norway, bagpipes and the Loch Ness Monster representing Scotland, a four-leaf clover representing Ireland, and a major landmark from my hometown, as well as other icons. I also incorporated nondescript designs and a bright, dreamlike setting to represent the culture I have yet to discover and the ever-changing nature of the world around me. In my submission, I wanted to incorporate two things that I thought would represent my background the best. Those two things being my family's background in Mexico and my background in technology. My mom being born and raised in Mexico City and us visiting Europe time to time, and my father getting his job through technology are why I decided to choose to focus on these two topics. Without my backgrounds, I would not be the same person I am today, so I felt it was important to include these in the aspects of my design. I decided to incorporate them in a sort of collage-like picture, with different things being from both cultures. For the background, I decided to have it in a sort of cyberspace. Additionally, I want some other elements of Mexican culture to keep the balance between the two themes equal. I feel like it is important to remember all the aspects of our heritage, as they are what makes us unique and different from each other, and that should be celebrated. Seppuku is the act of Japanese ritual suicide in which the victim is granted a restored honor for taking their own life. That was the main inspiration for the art piece, and it's what the character is depicted doing. 
Was the piece more or less reflecting on overall Japanese culture in regards to ethics and self-sacrifice? And as such, it wasn't intended to reflect our American society, but instead Japanese society, in which many feel the pressure that they need to fit into their own social standing, so much so that it results in harm. This still applies here, however, as families put immense pressure on children to pursue a better life, so much so that many end up harming themselves. Death by honor, or death to maintain honor, is its own cause, and it results in an unnecessary loss caused by external judgment from one's own society.